your Storm Tracker team forecast with Danielle Uliano. Well, if you're not a fan of the heat, I'm going to apologize right now because this forecast is really cranking up the heat. Today we saw that high of 92 degrees out there. 88 is our seasonal average for this time of year. So we were sitting a few degrees above average and the heat and humidity is just going to continue. 80 degrees out there, but it feels like 84. So still a bit of a heat index kicking in this evening. Winds out of the east southeast at six miles per hour. A little bit of cloud cover, but not too much tonight. Temperatures feel like temperatures only dropping into the low 70s for today before we warm things up. Your feel like temperatures. This is what it can feel like when you walk outside. Going to be sitting in the mid to upper 90s for tomorrow. Remember, some locations have creeped up close to triple digits today. We saw feel like temperatures around 98 degrees. So with that, remember your heat safety tips. Stay hydrated. Stay in the air conditioning. If you're working outside, make sure to do it in the morning during the coolest hours of the day. Take breaks in the shade. Wear light colored clothing. Remember, this one's important. Look before you lock. That is very important. It's getting to the hottest time of year. Important for children and for pets. Pets. And remember, check on the elderly and just be neighborly. Check on them as well. So high pressure is in control. And with that, we're getting southerly flow, which is leaving us in the afternoon with these colors of oranges and reds, indicating our temperature sitting in the upper 80s, low 90s, all thanks to high pressure. It stays here pretty stagnant in the southeast, still giving us that southerly flow, which also gives us a little bit of that cloud cover throughout the afternoon and a chance for a pop-up shower or two. Right now, most of the rain staying off to our north, northeast and off to our northwest. Oklahoma and Texas seeing some of those strong storms making their way through once again. Central U.S. has been slammed by them storm, storm after storm. We've been blessed here thanks to that high pressure. We've been staying mostly dry. Clouds move in though as you head into Monday morning. Again, a mix of sun and clouds. We're not looking at a completely cloudy day. You might see a spotty shower to make its way onshore due to the tapping in of that moisture there in the Gulf. But again, few and far between. Most of us won't see a drop of rainfall tomorrow, not until you head into the later part of the week into the weekend. So only a 20% chance for your Monday, mostly coastal locations. Tuesday and Wednesday will remain dry. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Again, those rain chances. Best chance to see that widespread rainfall still on the lighter side, though, and we're not talking about anything severe. That's going to be on your Friday. So a chance for morning fog tomorrow morning. Keep that in mind. That's before 8 a.m. We're going to be cranking up the heat and daytime heating kicks in. That's Thursday through the weekend when you start to see those afternoon showers. National Hurricane Center has no activity expected over the next five days. But remember, Hurricane season starts just in a week, next weekend, June 1st. So we're going to be tracking the tropics here over the next few months, all the way through November. Seven-day forecast shows those temperatures on your Memorial Day, 91 degrees. Tuesday, 92. Wednesday, 92. Sweet spot in the low 90s here. You can see for the next seven-day stretch, 91 on Thursday. That's when you start to see those rain chances increase ever so slightly. 30% on Thursday, 30% on Friday. Saturday and Sunday, 20%, 30%. So again, those chance for showers and storms, you're not talking about a washout. Just keep that rain gear handy. This is our typical summer Louisiana pattern. And remember, you can always catch us on the radio. We partnered up with iHeartRadio of Baton Rouge. So a lot going on weather-wise. Mm -hmm. A lot of heat. Stay hydrated. Stay in the shade. Just practice, uh, practice those heat safety tips. You're mm -hmm. good to go. Great advice for the next few months, really. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Danielle. All right. So